Liam Body with 24-7 Sports. Ed, have you done any recruiting since the win, and what's been the reaction from the guys? The guys are phenomenal. Uh, obviously, uh, guys are texting us. We're texting them back. Uh, we have a recruiting weekend this weekend. Uh, a couple of guys are coming. We have a couple of guys to sign left. But the guys that are out there are giving us a tremendous response. It's going to be a fight. Uh, everybody's after these guys. Uh, we... Uh, we plan on finishing this recruiting class strong. We have an already strong recruiting class. I'm so excited about the guys that we do have. So let's see what happens. Pete Iacovelli, Associated Press. Ed, um, Joe is such a key part of this run, and you've got so many players who have NFL decisions ahead of them. How difficult or will it be difficult to keep this going in the future? Yeah, it's going to be difficult to replace these guys. But, you know, you're at LSU, you should be able to do it. And, obviously, the quarterback position is going to be the key position. Uh, we have Miles Brennan. Uh, we signed two fantastic young quarterbacks on our, on our roster. The, the development of those guys is going to be key in where we're going. Uh, Patrick sitting to, to my, my left there, a tremendous young man from Livonia with a tailback. And uh, it turned out to be an outstanding linebacker for us. And uh, he has a decision to make. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to try to, right after this, I'm kind of hitting him on the knee right now to stay. But I've got to recruit these guys. But, you know, it's part of my being at LSU. And we tell our guys in recruiting, I know most of y'all are going to be three and out. So it's something that we have to accept. But this is going to be a tough group to replace. Being Baton Rouge coach, um, a lot of mock drafts, of course, putting Joe Burrow as the number one overall pick. Uh, what do you think it's going to mean for him as well as this program having a number one overall pick from quarterback? Yeah, obviously it says a lot about our uh, ability to attract great players anywhere in the country, ability to attract great quarterbacks. That had been the knock on LSU for a little while. The ability that when the quarterbacks come here, they will develop. I do believe that we also – and including Joe, a difference in his junior year and his senior year. Uh, he developed under Steve Ensminger and Joe Brady. Uh, I think that uh, if you're a quarterback right now and you're looking at LSU, you want to be here because of the system, because of what Joe did, a Heisman Trophy winner, a potential first-round pick, national champion, and then you, you have great receivers to, to uh, throw the football to. So uh, it does say a lot about our program. But you know what? We couldn't have done it without Joe. He's a special young man. Uh, thank God he came to LSU. In your opinion, what did Nick Saban do to win the, the first modern championship in 03? What did Les Miles do? And what did you do, in your opinion, best to, to win last night? Yeah, embrace LSU. I think that uh, it, you know all three common factors is LSU. And uh, when you come to LSU, that's the expectation. And I embraced it. I said that the day I got hired. I know what the people expect. I'm from Louisiana. I expected the same thing. I was a fan. And uh, But, you know, when you surround yourself with a great recruiting base, you surround yourself with all the resources that you can. You're playing in the SEC. So if you can get through the SEC, and especially the SEC West, it gives you a chance to be in the national championship hunt. If you're in the SEC championship and you win it, you got a shot, man. And so... Uh, that's why you come here. You come here to compete. You come here to compete with the best. It, it's very competitive every day in recruiting. It's competitive every day we turn around. Uh, but at LSU, I feel, is one of the premier schools in all the country. It gives you the opportunity to do that.